Listen, we all wear them. We're all sick of them. Of course, we're talking about masks. So what are we going to do this morning? We're going to take a close look at which masks offer the best protection against COVID. The CDC recommends those layered masks like the N95 and notes that a snug fit is very crucial. But with so many masks on the market, it can be very, very confusing. We asked people in Los Angeles, what do they look for in a good mask? The most important thing I look for when I'm picking a mask is the amount of protection that it's going to give. I think anything could be a mask as long as it's just covering your mouth and your nose. I prefer to wear a surgical mask. Uh, they're disposable. I don't have to worry about washing them so often. Preferably surgical masks because I feel like they're a lot more safer and, say, and more say, reliable. I don't really care about design as long as it's comfortable to wear for the whole day out in public. I prefer to wear a cloth mask or a disposable mask because they're easy to just um, make sure that they're clean. I look for it to be comfortable and I look for the mask to cover my face accordingly and let me breathe correctly. It must have comfortable straps, yeah. I'm not going to pick a mask based on, you know, how cool it looks or how cute it looks. You know, it's not, it's not a fashion statement, it's a health statement. Very good point, sir. Q. Aaron Collins, a self-described mask nerd, he is an aerosol scientist. So on his YouTube channel, Collins tests masks in his home laboratory and rates their ability to filter out the aerosols. Aaron Collins, we're happy to say, joins us this morning. Good to see you, Aaron Collins. I love your story. You just started doing this on your own, and you got a lot of pickup on your YouTube channel because you certainly seem to know what you're talking about. So take us through what are you looking for and what makes a good mask? Yeah, I think the most important aspects of a mask are kind of three things, and in, in a lot of those people in L.A. hit on it. It's about filtration, it's about fit, and it's about comfort. And so what we talk about when we talk about masks is we want to see all three of those things. So some of the people I talked about the surgical mask, so that features the filtration. It has that melt bone layer, so it has that good technology that we have. But the problem with surgical masks, they kind of lack the fit. And so there's other mask designs like KN95s that feature that fit or KF94s that also feature fit. And, of course, the N95, we're all familiar with that. This is a cup style also features that good yeah. tight fit so it's not true you heard one guy say look as long as it covers your nose and your mouth you're okay that's certainly not the truth it's certainly not the best mask but i will always say that the the mask you're wearing is better than no mask at all so at least they're on the first part of that so aaron uh, you mentioned kn95 n95 surgical those are types of masks but are, are there brands that people can sort through and which do you like yeah, so, you know, in KN95, that's the Chinese mask test standard. So I'm, I'm a big fan of the Powcom BNF, or the Powcom, excuse me, here, KN95. But there's also, like, U.S.-made uh, KN95s, which is a little weird because of our regulatory system, uh, like BNX. They're really cool. Uh, there's tons of great N95 options out there. I'm a big fan of the 3M Aura series. You can get these at Home Depot, the 9205 Plus. This is a great mask, great protection, good fit. Uh, it's very comfortable to wear. Um, and then there's also the KF94, and the KF94 is the South Korean standard. It's their general population mask standard. They designed it for, like, what would you have to do if you had a pandemic and you needed to mask everyone? They were kind of ahead of us in some I, ways. I, I, uh, and that's it looks like... Oh, go ahead. Oh, no, no, continue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, so the KF94, it features this kind of cool boat shape. Uh, and, and, and the difference between, you know, KN95s and N95s are these feature in ear loops, yeah. uh, like these KF94 and KN95, and it, N95 is always going to feature headbands. So that's a good, easy way to know what are the differences between those I masks. Like Aaron, I was just going to reassure yeah. any of our viewers at home who are feverishly trying to write down these names, yeah. which are not familiar, that I'm confident <laughs> we will put them on our website. Uh, and I, I do also sure. wonder, how do people know that what they're buying online is a genuine article and not a counterfeit? That's a great question. So in general, uh, in the N95 space, if you purchase from big box retailers or direct from the manufacturer, you want to go to Amazon, just make sure it's shipped by and sold by the, the direct supplier. So if it's shipped and sold by Amazon in the case of 3M, you're going to get a 3M mask. The KN95 space is a little bit tougher. So what I recommend is looking for the labeling requirements. So the KN95 standard requires you to label both the manufacturer, the standard it's tested against, a, ben, a bunch of numbers, because you know as engineers, it says GB2626-2019. And it should also label KN95 on there. So you want to see all three of those things on the mask. That's a good indication that they're at least following the labeling standards. 
All right, Aaron Collins, I'm looking at my KN95 here. It does, in fact, have the GB2626, so well done to my Legit. wife, Katie Tur. You ordered some legitimate <laughs> items. I appreciate that. Uh, and we appreciate you walking through, us all, walking through all this. As I said, the details will be on our website. Uh, Aaron Collins, thank you very much. My pleasure. Thank you for having me.